Hi guys, welcome to It's Fun Time channel and I'm here with another new video. Those who are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon and please like this video. Guys, I'm getting immense response on the video Scratch to Story Making for Beginners. I'm really happy with the views that I'm getting on this video. So guys, you can watch that video anytime and I have given that video's link in the description below. So guys, many of you might be thinking that why haven't I uploaded its programming. So here am I today uploading its programming. So guys, let's get started. It's a scratch to story making for beginners. So I'll be giving you some basics and then making up the programming. So guys, scratch is a software, programming software through which we express the ideas and do some innovation. So guys, this is the scratch software. And if you're new to Scratch, you can go here and click on this question mark. And then you can get to see many of the programming and you can learn programming from here. So guys, let's head towards our video. So today, I'll teach you how to make the same programming, programming that I made in that video. So guys, firstly, a cruel cat comes as default in the Scratch page. So, I call this cruel cat because I find its face cruel. I don't know why, but I find its face cruel. So, firstly, what we have to do is to delete this sprite. Now, guys, let me summarize the story to you. There was a boy who loves trekking. And then once he went to, went to a, hill, a hillside, and then he met a dark knight there. And the dark knight told him that, he will help him explore, explore that place, but instead he took him to the distortion world, where he has a trap to eat that boy up, the boy. But the boy senses the trouble and then runs away from there. So let's make the story. story. The story is too simple, isn't it? So guys, can you see a face here? Yes, a pretty face. So we'll click on that face and then we'll go to Sprite Library. And let me tell you guys, all this stuff, all these images or we can say small images they all are part of sprite library these all are called sprite so guys let me click on the people option and then I'll choose D because he's handsome and I like him and he has got so many costumes and we can use him efficiently so I'll place him at the bottom of the screen and now what we want is is a nice background nice backdrop so we'll go here to new backdrop option and then we'll click on this painting type image now in this painting type image we get to see so many backdrops now we'll go to the outdoors option in the category and then we get to see outdoor backdrops now I'll click on the one that I use in my video and the one that I use in my video was uh, this one the Grand Canyon so we we'll click on this one and then click on the OK button and you see what the backdrop has changed from blank to the Grand Canyon now we we'll click on D the sprite and once we click on D we'll click on the scripts so firstly I'll tell you the basics there are many functions here and we can use those functions to make the sprite do different functions motion we can set its size and how it moves and in looks we can change its looks and its dialogues and as you know sound we can produce sounds in events we can control the different events happening in the movie or you can say story and then control we can control any sort of action and the rest are advanced levels of functions so the first thing we have to do is to go to events and then click on when the green flag is clicked so and uh, you can see uh, you can see a really blank space next to this functions option and this blank space is not just anything but the programming space so I'll drag the when green flag clicked block to the programming space now we'll go to looks and then we we'll click on show show because if we don't uh, drag the show block here then the sprite won't show in the backdrop in front of the backdrop then we'll adjust a size I wanted size only to be here 
so we'll go uh, we'll drag this block when uh, this block go to x and y respectively below show now let me tell you what the significance of this go to x so guys if uh, like I want this position to be the sprite to be in this position but if I drag the sprite here and when I click the green flag then it will come automatically here so if there are any errors in the programming then that will not happen no faults will happen no errors will happen so that's necessary for it now guys we'll click on the looks option uh, firstly one most important thing if we want the background backdrop to change and come constantly we'll have to go to the looks and then we'll have to click switch backdrop to Grand Canyon so that the ba backdrop can change then we have to go to uh, looks only in the looks section only we have to drag the dialog box the say box and by default we have got hello in the say box and then we'll write I am finally here so I am finally here and then we'll keep it here and then we'll drag another dialog box and then we'll write inside it I want to explore this place now after this comes the villain of the story the cruel bat well he's a dark knight not just bat and then in the sprite library here we go and we have got bat 2 we'll select bat 2 and then we'll press on the ok button and then we have got a bat on the backdrop now I'll keep it here in front of the tree and then we'll again go to D and then we'll go to the events function and then we'll press or we can say drag the broadcast message when block here now broadcast message broadcast message when means that you're broadcasting a message so that the other sprite can perform his function like if we don't have the broadcast button then the sprites will get confused and they won't know when to say which dialogue or when to do what so we have got the broadcast block here with message when then we'll click on the bat and then I'll drag this block when no not this one actually when I receive message one this is the block which we need and then we'll click on the looks option and then we'll show him then only after he finishes his dialogues and then guys we'll click on the motion option and then we'll set his position also like we had set D's position and then we'll adjust its size also because in the end of the story its size changes incredibly so we'll go to the looks function and then we'll set its size to 100 percent now guys let's go back to D and one thing you can do is to change his costume costume means his appearance or you can say his hand gestures if you go to costumes we see him doing different gestures with his hand and uh, different uh, body actions so guys I would like to choose this one DB or what would you say would this be great or this one or this one I think DB would be great give me the comment in the comment section below if you would have liked to change it would you like would you have liked DA DB DC DD or DE tell me in the comment section below which costume do you like the most now guys we'll like to change his costume and we'll switch costume to D B and then we'll click that one uh, means place this block here somewhere here only and then let's try to see what has happened till now how the programming goes on so guys this is the programming it's going really finely we can try it again itself so you see guys there's something wrong with the program and let me tell you what's wrong with the program in the bat 2 option I don't want him to be there in the starting of the story so what I'll do is that 